In 1871, just seven years after Richard Robert Donnelly, R.R. R. Donnelly's founder, had arrived in Chicago to run printing operations that featured modern, steam-driven presses, this pioneering printer was ready to open a new, modern building in Chicago's central business district. The building would feature printing operations as well as typesetting, binding, and other functions central to completing finished books, magazines, and other materials. Before R. R. Donnelly could move into the new building, though, disaster struck Chicago. Hot, dry weather and high winds enabled a fire that broke out in a barn to spread quickly, jumping over rivers and consuming everything in its path. By the time the flames had receded, more than 40% of Chicago's structures had burned. Among the buildings devastated were R. R. Donnelly's home, his printing plant, and the new building that the company had just built. Note the pillars alongside the doors of the new building. This is how they looked after the fire. After this incredible loss, R. R. Donnelly sought to rebuild, but because of the extent of the devastation, there was not enough insurance to cover all of the losses. He had to borrow the means to travel to New York to raise the money to rebuild. What collateral did he have? Just the company's exceptional reputation for integrity, quality, and fair dealing. This was attested to on this piece of ledger paper by prominent Chicago business and civic leaders. That strong reputation for integrity was enough, even for New York's hard-boiled financiers. R. R. Donnelly was able to obtain financing and build again, restarting a company that is still providing a diverse array of communication services today.